Oh man, I tell you what, fire season is just, I'm getting more and more nervous. Yeah, and you know, we've got these thunderstorms coming our way, Steve. Mm. So it, the moisture is something we'll take, but boy, with those thunderstorms, you get strikes of lightning. And as far as what we're talking about here, look at this uh, sunset as it makes its way towards the horizon. We're looking at a beautiful evening here in San Diego. Temperatures have cooled off quite nicely from our daytime highs, which were in the upper 80s to low 90s. We've dropped into the mid 70s in most locations, and we're going to continue to see temperatures cool down just a little bit. This is tomorrow's forecast. 87 in Valley Center, 88 in the Ramona area. And the further you head towards the west, the cooler it gets because of that onshore flow. And the coastline will be well below average with temperatures in the low to, say, 73, 74 in the warmest coastal areas. That's a live look towards Ramona. High pressure starts to shift towards the east. The monsoon moisture with that will start to pump into Southern California and the desert southwest. And we'll see that last all week long, producing thunderstorms over the mountains and deserts. And that will keep temperatures slightly below average pretty much all week long. There's a live look from Mount Soledad towards downtown San Diego. And boy, it was really interesting. Uh, about literally three or four minutes ago, a murder of crows flew through, flew through the shot. So I'm kind of hoping to see a tail end of those guys coming through, but there had to be at least a thousand birds flying through there. So obviously they've come and gone. So we'll look at the temperature 69 degrees right now. Southwest your winds at eight and the pressure starting to fall off a little bit in the humidity. If you feel like it's a little sticky out there, it is. Look at the central part of the country. High pressure now situated over western Texas and that's the circulation that's going to pump in that moisture into Southern California, but it is compressing the air to the surface in the central part of the country. So currently these aren't daytime highs. Currently it's 95 in Wichita, Oklahoma City at 90, 95 in Dallas, St. Louis at 93 and boy it is sticky and humid. So here's that high pressure that I was just alluding to and so you can see that moisture coming up out of Mexico. It's getting caught up around the area of high pressure and then you've got this low moving through the northern tier states and that's producing some severe thunderstorms over the Great Lakes right now. As we move out west, you'll see this monsoonal flow and look at all that moisture coming up out of mainland Mexico and the circulation around the high pressure pumping it into the desert southwest into southern California and we'll continue to see that last all week long. Temperatures will stay slightly below average, both along the coast and inland, about three to five degrees, but the humidity levels will be up, so it'll feel pretty sticky out there and warm because that moist air, just like when it's cold, if it's moist, it makes you feel chilly. When it's moist and hot, it makes you feel a lot sticky stickier. Uh, temperatures in the mountains below average, but those thunderstorms and it lasts at least until Wednesday right now in our forecast, but possibly even into next weekend. Steve.